go. Reading scope processor seeing here with verbal processing and I am back with a little game called Powder. And it's this week's game of the week, so let's dive right in. A lot of people have requested that I check out Powder. It's my understanding that many popular YouTubers are playing Powder right now. So as a fan of the roguelike genre, I decided to give it a look-see, as it were. So let us take on a new game. I've already played through the tutorial, although it's hardly necessary for an old hand at roguelike game such as myself. It's a game by Jeff Late. I'm going to assume that's how it's pronounced. Let's see. Male. Dinner. That's usually my Zelda character name, but it's quickly just becoming my game character name. All right. Welcome. Welcome to Powder. Your goal is simple. Dive to level 25 of the dungeon to reach Beelzebub and slay him and return to the surface with his black heart. Now, Basilbub. Beelzebub. Beazelbub. That's how I would actually... Beazelbub! Anyway, plenty of nasty monsters standing your way, however. Fortunately, the dungeon is littered with useful equipment. Check for updates at www.zincland.com slash powder. All right. Powder, I am ready for you. Let's see, I'm a dude. I'm called Dinner. What do I got here? I have a kite shield. I have a manual of armor and a tome of healing. And let's see, we're going to equip that old kite shield in the offhand there. I have come pre-equipped with a dagger. That's an odd combination with a kite shield, I feel, but whatever. I can get behind a kite shield. A manual of armor. Read. Let's see, you read a manual of armor. Four. I'm not sure what the four part is. You have one free skill slot. Okay, well, since I have a shield, going to go ahead and go with the shields. All right, it might be fine for a barbarian to strap a shield to an arm and consider training complete. You know, however, that correctly parrying attacks is an art unto itself. You derive additional protection from shields. Yes, I shall learn this. Okay, great. Excellent. Oh, inventory, and here we are. What is this Tome of Healing? Let's see. You read a Tome of Healing. You have one free spell slot. It's interesting, the tomes have a number of spells you can choose from in each one, making them individually more valuable and considerably more interesting. Mm, I wonder if there's a limited number of use. In fact, maybe that's what that five was, is rather, like the number of times you can learn something from this. So I'm thinking from what I know here, a basic hail is where I want to start, and plus I only have 10 magic points. So I'm going to learn that and proceed into the future. Dance into the fire. Let's see, V, what was that? Welcome to... No, 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 you see a ladder up. Yes, indeed, I did see that ladder up. Let's proceed, shall we? Shall we? Into the darkness of this dungeon time. Now, those are Kiwis. Okay, they are friendly. Yes, but... I do believe you can accidentally attack things pretty easily, and to swap places with things in this game requires you to take all of your stuff off. So I'm just going to have to carefully pick my way over to this sword here. You see a long sword. Get. It's a long sword. Get. Okay, then. All right. Let's see. Now, can I... Let's go. Examine. Melee, 1d4. Ooh, I do like seeing old Dungeons and Dragons style damage rolls. 1d4 plus 1, so that's 2 to two 5. Quick D&D &D math there. Thrown, even more physical damage. Tiny, a short blade, well weighted for a f for flight. Wait, what? Oh, oh, for throwing, I see. <laughs> Wait, what? Longsword, the staple of any stylish fighter. The longsword makes an effective weapon. Cretex denounced for the... Denounced the trend for everyone to wield a longsword, exciting that it leads to boring battle scenes and little originality in battle gear. Said crit critics likely don't have to wander dangerous dungeons, however, so are best ignored. All right, with that in mind, let's see. Equip. Ah, I bet you there's some hotkeys that I can learn for these. You put that in your right hand and proceed. Now, is this door resisting me? Is this door resisting arrest? Oh, 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 you know what? I uh, I think I changed my settings to walk by default. 
Now, you know, it's early. I'm just going to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't accidentally attack things. That's good. I, I like it that way. It's a little, it's an extra keystroke when you're attacking monsters and things. Maybe I'll get tired of it later, but for now, I prefer it because attacking like a badass friendly monster by accident is such a huge friggin' bummer in a roguelike. Ooh, let's get this mouse cursor out of here. I can always remove it and post. I have to record powder in Camtasia. Oh, <laughs> how many? How much time am I going to spend just like pressing against things because I'm used to that as a default behavior for a roguelike? Anyway, I'm recording in Camtasia, which records the mouse. I can turn it off when I render from Camtasia, but ah, I hate recording in Camtasia because you have to transcode everything. Although in this case, actually don't. Anyway, that's boring for you to hear, so I'm just going to move on. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and examine this dude and see what's up. She looks like a hard fight. Now, normally it takes an anatomist to recognize a male skeleton from a female skeleton, unless said female skeleton is wearing a thong and nipple piercings, where the nipples used to be. All right. What is dead should stay dead. That's why. Then why do these bones move? No ligaments connect the joints. No muscles power the motion. Yet these facts do not prevent the skeleton from clacking inexorably forward. <laughs> Delightful. Attack! Control. Ah, there we go. Control. Control is the key. Control is the answer. You missed the skeleton. The skeleton punches you. Have I hit the skeleton once yet? All right. I think it's going to be... Oh, there we go. Whew. That was cloche. Just going to hang back. Actually, you know what? I'm going to zap myself with a healing spell. Cast heal it myself, of course. Yes, that'll do, that'll do. There we go. It's the rat, and slash the rat. The rat dies! You see her a rat corpse? A black potion on chainmail. Ah. Let's see, let's get the chainmail. Let's get the black potion. I'm not sure of the need for a rat corpse. In fact, I don't even know if it's necessary to eat in this game. Let's see, so I've studied leather tunic. Tunic. Let's see, medium weight. I think size medium, weight 10, attack style improvised. Attack style relates to the... <laughs> it does actually have damage if you throw the armor. 1d2 damage, physical damage for throwing the armor. Interesting. Material leather. So it doesn't actually... I'm just going to carefully... I guess the material is sort of... Oh, this, this grants armor 3. There we go. That's what I was looking for. I'm like, where's the armor class on this thing? AC? I want to know the AC! All right. So that cla armor class of 3. And this grants an armor class of... Not listed. Perhaps I need to equip it in order to see the armor class. Okay, now I have the Chen mail on and examine. Hmm, well, it's made of iron. I'm going to go ahead and go with it's probably better. Maybe I have to have been in a fight before it's going to grant me access to the information on the armor class there. That's certainly a possibility. Okay, and Rat Corp's not too interested in that. Maybe there's a nice secret door. Save us. It's always a gamble. <laughs> Down, around we go into the dark, dark dungeon. I haven't got a feel yet for this game whether or not how long you want to spend searching before before giving up. So I guess I'll just I'll just wing it for now. You see it here, a studded leather tunic. Now I have one of those. I'm not sure what the shop situation is here. I'm just going to get it for now and pick stuff up until until it reveal reveals itself as a bad idea. Swap. Oh, okay. Interesting. Now, in the tutorial, you actually had to take stuff off. Before Ooh, what is this? Crap. Okay, check the V key here. Okay, the Lux blinds you. The Lux, what is a Lux? Did four damage and it hit. So I'm just going to keep moving away from the Lux. Oh, the Lux is a light of some kind. Let's see. What if I... It did another three damage and blinded me again. You know what? I think avoiding is probably the way to go here. So, wow, this Lux is really sort of all up on. Come on, Kiwi, take him out. Damn. Something the Kiwi would get a hit in on him. Help a brother out, man. Okay, this is bad. Because now I just have to sit around and take punishment whilst I... Lux! <laughs> get out of my face, man! Okay, uh, the Lux missed me. You missed the Lux, the Lux misses you. You crush the Lux, the Lux dies. That makes me a little bit sad somehow. Even though he was trying to murder me! Murder face! Alright, open. There we are. Oh! 
muscle past the kiwi. Arr, get out of my way, you shark beep kiwi, son of a beep. Oh, wow. What have we? Is that a grid bug? Ooh, it is a grid bug. Grid bug is a, is a Tron reference. And it, um, I originally saw grid bugs for the first time in a game called NetHack, which is an excellent road like. Been around for a long, long time. And, oh man, my wife and I played the crap out of that game when she was in college. Anyway, so the grid bug is a Tron reference. Yeah, those, those, those persnickety little CG things made out of about 11 whole polygons. 11 polygons! It was amazing at the time. And it probably took weeks to render those 11 polygons. Unbelievable. You could have traced them and colored them in with charcoal faster than you could have rendered them probably on those computers. In any case, the this epic struggle. Oh, I'm going to defeat the grid bug. Grid bug will bring you down. We'll have to wait for tomorrow cuz this has been Ian with Verbal Processing and I've been playing my game of the week. Powder. You can find a link in the description for the game if you wish to play it yourself. It is free from zincland.com slash powder. So do enjoy that for yourself. Let me know what you think of it if you get a chance to play it. And I will be looking forward to joining you for more powder on Zimaro. Cheers. <laughs>